Hey guys, it's 681 Shadow. Welcome to episode 11 of our My Hero One Justice Story Mode playthrough. Now, I'm pretty sure, based on what we have left here, this should be the final episode of the playthrough. Which is definitely uh, definitely kind of unfortunate because the uh, some of the things in the, in the story mode are actually really cool. But also, it's good because you can get to some more uh, more easier content for me to record. Because like, like sitting here for like 20-30 minutes isn't always something I can do with you know, my schedule and whatnot. But if we do like online matches, maybe if like 10, 15 minutes. That should work out a bit better and allow me to get, get out to more videos for you guys, which I do, will definitely enjoy. So let's start out real quick here. Um, let's go into this cutscene and then we'll go into whatever the battle is that's after this, because we're, we're doing the hideout radar arc today. Which should be interesting to see from the villain side. We'll, we'll more than likely get to play as all for one, which is awesome. So we'll definitely see how that goes. Alright. The Nomu warehouse after it got absolutely demolished by the pro hero. Oh, and all for, actually no, by all for one. Never mind. This one Tomura had started to think for himself and lead on his own. I had hoped you heroes would stay out of his way. We couldn't bring ourselves to turn around. We didn't know what had just happened, but his presence alone instilled in us a deathly fear. I guess I have to act. Oh, that was a really quick cut. Okay, I did not expect that, I did not expect that one to be so quick. But yep, that's that's all for one for you. Now let's see, do we do we get to let's see, do we get to use him uh now or do we, or is it another fight? Okay, we get to use all for one. So based on this, yeah, because we don't have too many missions left, we'll probably be we'll probably be using all for one for the remainder of this, unless we have a Shigaraki fight. Shigaraki fight block of, but that's about it, I would think at least. All right, let's start this chapter. We're gonna use all for one for the first time. We finally get to use the boy all for one. So I think. Like based on me fighting him in the hero side, I think he's very similar to All Might, but of course he probably has a few extra things like you know forcible quirk activation and all that kind of stuff. Because All for One has a bunch of quirks, so I'll I'll, I'll see how I feel about him. Oh, uh, what's going on? Where am I? Forgive me, Bakugo. Master, you might have failed again, Tomura, but don't be discouraged. Just get up and try again, as much as you need. That's what I'm here for. Everything I do is for you. I had a feeling you'd show up. It's over, All for One. I'm taking everything back. Are you here to kill me again, All Might? I know I said, in the, I know I said it in the hero side, but that scene was awesome in the, uh, in the anime. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, he's very similar to All. Might. I don't know if you can do all that. I, I, gotta, I gotta work out what um what Alpha One can do. Okay, oh, okay, his, okay. His heavy is forcible quirk. Act. Well, not heavy. Actually, his uh, circle attack is forcible quirk activate. That's a... Okay, and then that one is like all my. Yeah, that's like All Might's, okay. It's the exact same as All Might's, um, circle attack. Anything down like that? I'm liking All for One so far. Okay, he got me there. Yeah, All Might's just a naturally good character, which I mean, it makes it makes sense. Because of the character he is. But we got him. Hopefully All Might doesn't give me as much trouble as All For One did when we fought him in the last fight. Because if you guys remember uh, a few episodes back, we'll be, we're finishing off the hero side. All For One gave me so much trouble in the, in the very last fight. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Alright, we did, we did that one uh, really well, so that's good. Alright, new story. Hey, is the next one a cutscene? It might be. Hmm, how about this? What if I do air cannon plus spring like limbs, four instantaneous impact work, and three physical strength ampl amplification for one? That sounds like a fun mix. Maybe I add another amplification quirk too. And just blows him up back. All for one just created the definition of blowing someone back. Good lord. Alright, let's see. Okay, no, the next one is a battle. Oh, you're right. Shigaraki, Shigaraki or Toga versus Bakugo. We got a lot. We had a lot of uh, Toga last episode, so I'm gonna go Shigaraki here. Yeah, we'll do Shigaraki against Bakugo, and then um, 
Yeah, then, uh, and, yeah, then after this fight, I'm sure it's probably just going to be all for one. For whatever's left. Uh, yes, all, right, all might. No need to worry. It'll take more than that to do him in, I'm sure. Just take the kid and run, Tomura. Uh, what a pain. Now go. But master, what about... Think rationally here, Tomura. You still have a lot of growing... Come with me. It's Bakugo, come with us. Shigaraki versus Bakugo. Alright, let's get this fight over with, cause um, I think let's get this one over with. Cause I want I want to get get to using all for one. Uh, he got me. I was doing so good there, but he got. But he ended up getting me. And grabbed him. Well, this hit him. I should have done it there, but you know what? Okay, no, he jumped. Oh no, he 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 jumped. He jumped, but he didn't jump out of it. Okay. Yeah, he did. Unfortunately, Shigaraki doesn't have a projectile, but it makes sense. Alright, got him there. Shigaraki's a fun character to use, but I but I really do want to try to use, um, I really want to get some more playtime with All for One. Yeah, I might totally do a video going online and using each of the characters. I I, I think I think that'd be interesting, because I know that, because there's probably some characters that we didn't really get to use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's characters we didn't really get to use in uh, in the story mode, so that'll also so I'll also want to use them as well. When we get this animated scene, oh yeah, this, but we don't get the build up of this because if it, because on the villain side they had no idea this was happening. Yeah, Kishima breaks through, and Todoroki makes a big a big ice uh, ramp for them. Yeah. I... I still, th I still think the the uh, the scenes that they did animated in the, for this game are actually pretty awesome. Yeah, they go way over the fighting, and then Kirishima signals to Bakugo, and Bakugo responds because if it was literally anyone else there, Bakugo probably wouldn't respond. Yep, yeah, he goes up. And there we go. And the heroes got that out of the way, so that, that that's cool. Alright. Let's see, what do we have left? Okay, so we have, uh, we have this cutscene, we have this fight. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have too many fights left. Alright, so let's go this, do this cutscene, the Eternal Fighter. Yeah, so let's do something with this. Probably, this might be about all for one, because considering it's saying the Eternal Fighter. Because he basically is eternal, to be completely honest with you. Unless it's about uh, one for all. One or the other, in all honesty. Before I had any time to react, that Izuku Midoriya showed up in front of me and took Bakugo back. That brat always appearing wherever I am. Urgh. He's not alone either. There's a slew of heroes here as well. And, they're, and they've whittled down our strength. And yeah, Shigaraki's not happy about that whatsoever. There's still two more villains. I'll put an end to this right now. It must be one of Shimura's friends. They got us good. The tables have been completely turned. Tomura, I don't want this to end. Force quirk activation. Alright, now get going, Tomura. No, wait. Master, you can't. If you do that, your body will. I can't. I'm not ready yet. Tomura, you have to keep fighting no matter what. Master, wait. And then he gets sucked into Kurigiri's portal. I 
Okay, we go here. Okay, okay, we only have two more fights. Okay. The torn apart. Yeah, so now now it's just all for one. So we get to use all for one for the last two fights. Which I am happy about. It, it would have been cool if, we, if he got some more um, screen time, but I also really feel... I also really like how they kept him very ominous for the first two seasons. Like, we knew he was strong, but then when he started fighting All Might, it was at, it, it was such a great... um. Such a great reveal. If I have to fight, then so be it. There's nobody I hate more in this world than you. Oh my. I won't let you. I won't let you forget all the atrocities you inflicted upon me and my fellow villains. You, you became known as a symbol of peace only by smashing countless fronts and allies of. This is a legacy built on the sacrifices of this villain. But to you, I'm sure the view is great. Looking down on us from high. Who Detroit smash? Also, it's crazy because, you know, we. It's crazy to see, like, a regular person um, being able to counter All Might. Like, yeah, that's another thing that, like, that they really did well with the All for One reveal because, um, or, like, All for One starting to fight All Might in the in this arc because originally you had, like, just a Nobu that could counter him, which Nobu was, like, genetically engineered, like, actually, like, engineered to be able to do this. But All for One's just this guy who's just been around for a long time. He can just counter All Might like that, which I think is actually really impressive. I take it we don't see eye to eye on that. Don't think I'll just let you fight me fair. You heroes have a lot on your plates. So many people and things to protect. Silence, I don't want to hear anything from a man like you. You manipulate ordinary people, steal from them, destroy their lives, and rule over them with contempt. You watch them suffer and you laugh. I'll never stand for that. And he breaks the mask off. Toshinori. You're so emotional to a fault sometimes, all my... I've heard the same lecture before. You know, Nana Shimura, the former wielder of One for All. She was nothing but an idealist without, without the power to back her words up. I was ashamed to see One for All handed down to the likes of her. Still, she came to a rather unsightly end. Do you like to hear how? Don't you dare try to tarnish my master's good name with your vile words. I might have killed your master, but you destroyed everything that I built up, everything I had worked with. I wanted to see you go down the flames and die in the most gruesome way possible. If also, if all for one is also a say, is also probably a say. But I mean, I, I mean, it's only towards all might. It's not towards like everyone. So not really like that. But like, he he just wants all might gone. Ooh, okay, you got my mind. Right. Did I hit him up there? Okay, I didn't expect to hit him up there. Right. I really am liking all for one's uh, move set right here. Oh, but he got me there. I didn't think he would just dodge to the side like that, but okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking his uh, I'm liking his uh, square combo. Okay, fourth quirk activation. I can combo like that. Ugh. Where's my meter? Why does his meter go up so much faster than mine? Ugh. Alright, let me hit him down. I still, I think I, I definitely have a shot of beating him. And then put some like ore through that or something. Whatever that does. Alright, I get some good damage because. Yeah, because his square combo does good damage, too. Alright, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, we got him there. Okay, cool. We beat him. Alright. Nice and easy. Actually, that was actually really bad, like, uh, rank-wise, but you know what, you know what? It, it, it doesn't really matter too much, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna take that, and we're gonna keep going. Some of us work so hard to shatter society's trust in heroes. Is it really right for me to deal the final blow to it? It's tempting. I despise you so- I despise you just as much as you despise me, if not more. The huge one's headed your way. Get out of the way and counter-attack. You think you could just get out of the way? I'll destroy everything you've tried to protect, one by one. I'll start with your pride and dignity, which you dared to hold on to after your inner injury. It's time to show the world how pathetic you really are. You symbol of peace. 
Oh, what the? Are you seeing this at home? Look, All Might, he's withering away. What? He's just skin and bones. No secret. It'll be... Look at you, your face is sunken and your eyes are hollowed out. You look wretched for such a big hero. But there's nothing to be ashamed of. This is your true form. Who you really are, isn't it? You can take away my body, wear it down, weaken it, show it to the whole world. But deep down, I'll always be a symbol of peace. You can't take my heart and soul away, no matter how hard you try. But then he just does that. How brave and, no and noble of you. Your heart remains as unshaken as ever. Let me tell you this, then. Homer Shigaraki is not a Shibra's grandson. He played the forbidden ace in the hole. A and all he's thought about is just how much he despises you. You know, I'm the one who created an opportunity for you. And yet you took him down without knowing the thing. All while you were smiling as smugly as ever. You lie. You know it to be true. You know you know this is something I would do. Oh, what's wrong? You look strange, All Might. What happened to that in incessant smile of yours? I thought you were always supposed to smile. I promise your master you would. You. Ah, oh, this is fun. Did I perhaps take some of that heart and soul of yours away after all? He's, he's related to my master. What have I done? What has All Might done? I mean, he didn't know. He, like, All Might's not to blame for that. He didn't know, and All for One is just... All for, one, all for One is just crazy smart. Alright, we're almost done here. We got one more fight, one more cutscene, and then we and then we're done with the story mode here for the villain side. Let's hope All Might doesn't actually destroy us in this fight. Kind of like it, kind of like All for One was doing when we fought him on the hero side. Alright, kind of wish the loading screen could uh, could be a bit shorter, but you know what? It is what it is. You can't lose All Might. Please save us. You hear that? They're still calling out for you, All Might. Even, if that, even in that sad, miserable state of your... You heroes have a lot on your plates. So many people and things to protect. Yes, madam. Of course I will. You're not wrong. We heroes, we do have a lot to protect. All for one. And that's why I can't lose here. So you plan to come at me with everything you've got left in you, All Might? Something scarier than a wounded hero on the last leg. No more screwing around. Let's finish this. Off one even off one even admits there's nothing scarier than than a hero who's on who's about to, who's uh on his last leg. Right. Oh, oh. I don't know why I thought that uh, that blocking that would have done something for me. And I got him there. I want to see all for ones. Um, I want to see his level three. I mean, not level three. His level, his level two. I can't do level three because I don't have any supports. Honestly, I don't even know how the how those work. I want to use that as a finishing move though, just just to make this just just to make this uh, theme right. Get me with that ridiculous combo. I got him there. Yeah, when I get him uh, fairly low, I'll try to land it. Yeah, yeah, he might. I don't think he's low enough yet, but I think after another, one, another uh, bit more damage. All right, come on, I need to get him on the ground. Oh. Come on, get on the ground, man. No, that's not what I want. Okay, that's what I want. Come on, can this work out for me? Oh, I got him. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is his level two. Yeah, he grows the arm out. <laughs> and this looks so good. And one big punch, right? It. Ooh. It's so ironic. It said plus ultra when all for one did that. <laughs> That's the most ironic thing ever. And there we go, the boss man himself. I'm, have I got? I, I, I'm. I don't remember the last time I got straight S's for like attack, technique, and bonus. I always get SAS for some reason.
Game trying just trying to tell me my technique is actually trash. After fighting you, I know for a fact all my you no longer have one for all within you. All you can all you can, all you can dredge up now and use to fight um after giving it away is a small sliver, a speck, a meager ember that still burns within you. And every time you try to fan that tiny flame, it grows weaker and weaker. It's only a matter of time before it burns up. But despite that, do you really intend to keep it lit and oppose me? A symbol of peace can never give in. And he definitely can. And then it just goes right into the next cutscene thing, too. You never make things easy. Let's put aside how you feel for a moment and discuss the fact. These chakras of mine aren't designed to just hurt you a little chip away at your life. Through my body full of the best and strongest quirks, especially chosen to kill you and ensure that you stay dead. All for one is an obsessed man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really going to continue reading this because we already read this. Yeah, because you find that like, Midoriya is the Destiny and whatnot. Like, All for one is probably like one of the most obsessed like anime characters I've seen. Like, on, Definitely like on the uh, the same level as I would say like Vegito with getting stronger than Goku. All for one is obsessed with uh, killing All Might. Let's see, what the anime characters are obsessed? Um... I mean, it's probably ones I'm just not thinking of, but yeah, there's definitely characters... I, I, th I think I think it's good with, with like, the obsession type thing, if, it, if it's done well. Like, All for One is done well. Vegeta was kind of, uh... Like, Vegeta was kind of bad at the beginning of, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z, but then he, he, he got better, and now he's done fairly well. And this awesome scene. Because he didn't put his back into it. And he United States of Smash. I love how there it just looks like he it looks like he didn't even try to block. And but in the anime it, in the anime they make they make it they make it definitely look like that he couldn't have blocked it. Like he was caught off guard by it. But there it just looks like he could have blocked it, he just didn't. So long, one for all. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like the same cutscene as the uh, as before. But if, if anything's new, then I'll um, if anything's new, that then I'll read that out. But this seems to be the same cutscene as before. Which I mean, it's still a great cutscene. I'm not knocking it at all. But we've already looked at the cuts. We've already seen this cutscene on the uh, on the hero side. Because all, all Might stands up and everything like that. And there's a loading screen. Okay. Was that the end of the cutscene? I mean, on the hero side it wasn't, but it might be on the villain side because it just kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense for them to not show that the uh, the whole speech thing. Oh, yep, there we go. That's the end of it for the villain side. So we finished the story mode here for the uh, for for our one justice playthrough. Which it's definitely cool that we were able to play through the story. There were some differences. Like it wasn't just like I was kind of um was kind of disappointed at the beginning that it was just like it'd be like stuff from the anime. But they did do some interesting stuff with the villain side of the story. Which I did I did like the villain side more than the hero side. Which I definitely did um, appreciate that. But in terms of content from now on out, from here on out, um, it'll probably be online battles. I'm not sure if I'll do ranked yet. I'll probably start with unranked and work my way up. But um, there's also like character specific missions, which I might uh, take the time to go through. Um, depending on how many there are, I'll, I'll see how I want to tackle those videos. But I probably won't do those just yet because we just finished the story mode. I might start those like, I might start those maybe like mid December or maybe like at the New Year. Somewhere. See what happens, but now we're getting like the. I think we now we're yeah now we're getting like the full credits because that's the uh, that's really like the end of the story. But we're already at special thanks too. Yeah, the credits for this game are kind of short, but it's also I think it's also because they kind of like split it up. Yeah, but it's definitely um. It was definitely a fun story mode to play through. Got it, sort of got us our got our feet wet with all the characters. I yeah I was able to um find some love for some more characters than just what I thought when I saw like certain like um. Certain clips from when the from before the when the game came out. Like I didn't think I would I would like as many characters as I did, which is definitely not. Awesome. I do. Have, it is something to get used to too, because I've been used to like fighting game wise. I've been used to like Dragon Ball Fighters, which is a lot faster. Like, so it, it's definitely uh it's definitely something they get used to to have the um, the slower sort of fights and whatnot there. So yeah, it's definitely something to get used to. But I am liking. I do like the game. It is definitely fun. So I, and I do hope to bring you guys more content on it too. Yeah, probably like balance out uh, one justice content, maybe some fighters content as well with my uh, gacha game content. Which gacha game content is only really probably gonna be like no combat, or maybe some legends, 
Um, try, I'm gonna finally try to get back into doing some Legends videos for you guys. So hopefully that can work out. But yeah, it, yeah, I, I, I am, I am kind of glad that, as I said earlier, that we're done uh, with the story mode, because recording will be a lot, will be a lot better for me. It'll be a lot easier. So I won't have to record like um, hour and a half long videos like this. Which I mean, they are. It is fun to do these longer ones every once in a while, but it it doesn't work with the best of my schedule, at least for the, uh, like this school year. But maybe maybe after this year it'll work better. I don't know. But definitely maybe over the summer we'll probably do some sort of either over the summer or like um like a second semester for my year, because there's there's not as much to do um, in second semester as there is in first semester. But we'll definitely see. Yeah, this seems like the full credits actually, because the hero side credits were actually like really short because of the hero side. I mean, I've seen a game do that. There's games that do that. They like split up. They like split up the credits in in a way for some reason. But and I never really, really understood why why they do that. But yeah, but now we get like the full credits here, which is nice. We got these cool screenshots. I love when games do like the screenshot things like that. Hey, this is the end of our. Third let's play, yeah, because we, we we've technically let's played through three games on the uh, on the channel here. The first being Dragon Ball Fighter Story Mode, the second one being Doki Doki Literature Club, and then now uh, we're just finishing My Hero One Justice. That's really that's really awesome. But we, but the content for One Justice will keep on going. I'll I'll probably do like character uh, showcases of me do of me using a certain character. Well, not a certain character. I'll probably do like every character or um, like unranked matches and. It's, Maybe I'll take uh, characters I like into ranked beyond that, and also those missions. I'll see like I'll see how many of them there are and whatnot. Also, a character that I do want to show off, I'll probably do him first to be completely honest, is uh, Endeavor for the unranked matches because I because I pre-ordered so I got Endeavor for free. So I do want to show him off because he's not in the story mode considering he's DLC. I also want to get the uh, shoot style of Deku, but I probably won't be able to. I probably won't get him until the holiday time. So about a month from now, I should be able to have shoot style of Deku. And I'll be and I think honestly as soon as I get him I want to get a, I want to get a video out. It's probably through the month of December will be my character um will be my character showcases in PVP because there's like 20 something characters. That's a that's a lot. But that means but that also means for you guys there's a lot of content coming out. So if you guys are uh I hope you guys are excited for that without a doubt. And we are getting towards the very end here cuz we are cuz based on we are seeing a special thanks now. Even though I've, I've seen, even though they put special thanks on the screen like 15 times throughout the credits, we're on the special thanks now. I'm pretty sure it's the end. At least I'm hoping it is because I see that screen, because of what, where the background is that the um, hideout raid part would all might defeat um, all might defeat him. Okay, there we go. Production of Bandai Namco, produced by Bandai Namco Entertainment Incorporated. Gotta love Bandai Namco. They're like the only company whose games I play on this channel. I admit defeat, All Might. It's been a long, bitter struggle with you, but you were so wrong about one thing. Just one thing, according to All For One. See? After all the fighting was over, you wanted to stay close to your apprentice. Alas, you guessed wrong when you would grieve your last. You ran out of time. The teacher's role in life is to make their students stand on their own. In the end, once they've come to uh, to depend on you, you disappear to somewhere they can't reach you. Their hatred in them, as I will with my own student. He will continue pushing forward. He has allies and is learning how to make more of them. Fear not, Tomer Kigaraki. You'll be okay. Use all of your experience, your anger, your hatred, your threats. Use it all to grow and become unstoppable. Yep, that. Because you're next. Ooh. That's that's actually really cool of them to do. They they use the same line. They use the same line that all might use to Midoriya. Ooh, one justice. That was actually really cool. All for one used the same line that All Might did to Midoriya. He said you're you're next. Oh Principal Nezu. We're a UA pajama pants. <laughs> I would actually buy that. UA, UA Pajama Man. I, I would buy that. UA Sports Festival Unlocked. Looks like unlocked the Sports Festival chapter in the Hero Store. Oh, there's, oh, there's an extra chapter of the story. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's an extra chapter here. Oh, I can just scroll through them. Here. Okay, that's good. Okay. So we're, actually, so we're actually not done yet. Funnily enough. But 
I'll count this as a bonus episode because it's a it's sort of bonus um it's a bonus piece because it's right before this part. So yeah, yeah. Based on let's see how many fights is it? There's uh there's a cutscene here and then there's one two three four five six seven fights and then actually eight fights actually that's because that's uh that's just an extra one. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. We'll have um yeah so we'll do it we'll do a bonus episode. I might not do it for Monday, but I might. I'm not sure, depending on like how other content goes. I want to get other content out of the way first. But this will be a um, this will be a sort of extra thing for us here. Yeah, with that, it'll be the end of this video, guys. Our technically our finale, but we will have a bonus episode going out in the coming days for the Sports Fest arc. But thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure to join the Discord server if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.